guys welcome back to my channel my video today is showcasing a hairline relaxer now i don't really do these videos but i thought i'll do one where i kind of talk it through a little bit just to make you understand um it's not really a video that i could just put out there without explaining just because i know the feedback would be question mark question mark question mark so first and foremost i base the hairline and every hairline relaxer is different um, due to what the client needs so with T today I'm going to go a little bit high at the back because I'm going to cut her hair um, quite high at the back so I'm going into the back above the ulterior toe bone just because I know I'm going to um, go quite short at the back and she needs it smooth so normally I wouldn't go this high um, especially if the client wants to keep the back of her hair long but longer but on this particular occasion, because I'm going quite short at the back, that's why you see me going so high. I'm not going to go as high on the sides just because it doesn't really need it. Um, she is three weeks post perm, so the last time she had a relaxer was about three to four weeks ago. But I did go over the relaxer just a little bit at the front, just so that she can um, go another four weeks before she has a full head relaxer so just to take out any questions that you may have <laughs> I bring her to the front and I use the a firm foam wrap on her hair. You've seen it in my videos, in my top three videos. I talk about it all the time. And then I create some slight finger waves on the side of the hair, finish off by wrapping her and then pop her under the dryer for 30 to 40 minutes on medium to high heat. Um, just because she's got quite thick hair and I don't want her to burn under the dryer really. But, and I know everybody hates being under the dryer, so I kind of try to try and speed along the process without overdoing it. And then I proceed on to either cutting or styling her hair. <laughs>
regular firm, I like to first ask my clients what kind of shape up they want. And then I generally like to look at the flow of their hair and their, and look at their hairline before I make a decision on what kind of shape up they will have. Um, I do not like to do generic um, shape ups because I find that sometimes you're forcing the hair to do something that it doesn't want to do. So I like to do something creative but at the same time depending on the client's needs sometimes people just do not want something too sharp so um with tea i like to do it kind of soft but sharp at the same time um so that she generally doesn't need to do a shape up until she comes in to see me i'm using the dry niche glossifier by Kerry care and then i'm following it up with some conditioning cream hairdress also by Kerry care um as it's got a little bit of um, heat protectant in it and then I proceed on by using my Coriolis mini straighteners which are a little bit of a gem to find um, to create her little curls look i hope you've enjoyed this little explainer video and i'll see you in my next one bye